Well, this morning a new report is giving us some insight into Colorado's housing market. Yeah, it looks at the odds that home prices will drop in cities mm. around the country. So this morning we're taking a 360 in-depth look, diving into the market predictions for Denver Metro, the impacts rising interest rates could have, and maybe finally some better news for buyers. <laughs> Number 7's Jessica Crawford starts our coverage here and, and Jessica you comb through the numbers in this new report. That's right. I wish I had better news for you, but <laughs> for Coloradans hoping to see housing prices drop anytime soon, don't hold your breath. Here's that report that shows where home prices are dropping across the nation. Now take a closer look. According to the CoreLogic real estate companies, the markets in red have a high chance of dropping. So you can see they're pretty far and few in between. The Denver Metro is clearly very blue. That doesn't mean that the housing market is healthy, though. The report found 65% of housing markets are overvalued, and the front range of Colorado was on that list of being overpriced. Some industry experts are hoping that those rising interest rates will slow down the increase in housing prices, and those interest rates are climbing. To give you some context here, mortgage rates have hit their highest level since 2009. The 30-year fixed rate is about 5.37. Now, according to Freddie Mac, in April of last year, the average was 3.06. Those interest rates drive up prices for buyers. Experts say that they are seeing a drop in mortgage applications as these rates go up. There was a more than 8% decrease in people applying for mortgage loans last week. So here's the flip side. That drop in mortgage applications means fewer people are buying homes. That means less competition. So instead of seeing multiple offers above the list price, local real estate agents tell us that some sellers are now cutting their prices. That could be a little bit of good news for buyers. Between list price and sale price, uh, it's coming down about almost 6%. And that's roughly between fifty to sixty thousand dollars. I think that's the changing part on, on the buy side is they'll they'll have a little bit more negotiation muscle, but trying to figure out exactly you know where where that is and how that applies. But then asking for concessions, you know, inspections coming back into the fold instead of just inspection as is. Yeah, you can finally get your house inspected again. Yeah. Uh, that's a good thing. Experts say a real estate agent can help you figure out what to bid as this market changes. Yeah. Well, apparently staying at home was a big driver for getting a new home at the start of the pandemic. A new study shows those of you in Boulder worked from home more than any other metropolitan city in the country back then. Financial force found more than 16% of Boulder residents work from home in 2020. That surpassed Bend, Oregon and Austin, Texas next on huh. the list. Fort Collins and the Denver Metro, though, were very high wow. on the list at 5th and 6th, respectively. I was home for about three weeks. You guys were home for uh, a, oh year, a, a year. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, can sometimes I can't believe that it was that long that you were not here I know. in the studio, right? It's a long time. So I still have the studio set up in my basement. Right. I do too, yeah. My husband loves it, let me tell you. <laughs> it, it took over his man cave and it's still down there. Oh. <laughs>